Hello, in this video we're going to do an example of what is known as a direct proof. And we're going to go through it very, very carefully. This is a very basic proof, so hopefully you can understand this example because proof writing is beautiful and this is a great way to get started. Okay, so for our direct proof we're going to prove the statement. The square of an odd integer is odd. Okay, that's going to be the statement that we're going to prove. So to do that, I'm going to write it a different way. I'm going to write this as the following. So here's an example. We're going to take this statement and rewrite it in a way that will allow us to write a clean direct proof. So the statement is the square of an, in, of an odd integer is odd. So let n be an element in the set of integers. So n is an integer that's assumed. And the statement we're going to prove is if n is odd, then so is n squared. Okay, that's the statement that we are going to prove, okay? And that's basically the same thing as saying uh, that uh, the square of an odd integer uh, is odd, right? Because if n is odd, then so is n squared. So I can also just say then n squared is odd, same thing. All right, so to prove it, you have to know what it means for an integer to be odd. So an integer is odd, I'll write it up here. So n is odd. This is the same thing, this is equivalent to saying n is equal to 2k plus 1 for some integer k and z. Okay, this is going to be our definition of odd that we're going to use in this proof, right, in this box. n is odd, this is a definition, remember all definitions are if and only if statements. Uh, very, very, if you're, very useful if you're reading a book. Um, so n is odd means this. So let's go ahead and prove it. So proof. So to prove this statement, um, to prove uh, this here, this is a direct proof. So we assume this is true. We start by assuming this piece is true, always in a direct proof, everything after the if but before the then. So if it's after the if, this is what you assume. So we'll say assume. You can use the word assume. I'm going to use the word suppose. Suppose n is odd, okay? Suppose n is odd. And we have to show that n squared is odd. So now what you have to do is you have to somehow do that. So what do you know at this point? Well, you only know one thing. You know that n is odd. So you try to use what you know. Well, what does it mean for n to be odd? Well, it's up here in this box. n is equal to 2k plus 1 for some k and z. So then you just write that down. So this means, let's be really precise, this means that n is equal to 2k plus 1 for some integer k. So I could say for some integer k, or I could say for some k and z. I could, this is the same thing as saying for some integer k. So if you don't like this notation, you can say for some integer k. I'm going to continue with this notation though. So for some k and z. And I know I'm going uh, very slow uh, with this proof, but uh, I think it's important to, to take it slow. I know proof writing is one of the hardest things out there. So again, you start by assuming uh, this piece here is true, so suppose n is odd. Then you write, you write down uh, what this means. This means that n is equal to 2k plus 1 uh, for some k and z. Now you have to show that n squared is odd. So what you can do now is you just square your n and then uh, hopefully it, it fits this form. So then n squared is equal to, well that's going to be 2k plus 1 quantity squared. And we can multiply this out pretty quickly. Um, you square the first one so you get 4k squared. Multiply these and double it, so that's going to give us 4k. Square the last one, that gives us 1. All right? and that's a formula. Um, you can write it twice in FOIL, but Again, the formula, I'll write it here, it's a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. 
So you square the 2k, so you get 4k squared. Uh, a times b times 2 is just these, this times this times 2 is 4k. Square the b, you get 1. So we have to show um, that this is odd, right? So what does it mean to be odd? It's 2 times an integer plus 1. So we already have the 1 here. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this because I kind of want to go underneath because I think it'll be easier to understand if I do that. So I don't want to write here. I want to write here so you can see it better and hopefully understand a little better. So this is equal to, so we have to show that it's equal to 2k, 2k plus 1. It has to have this form, this 2k plus 1 form, right? So we've already got the 1. So let's just pull out a 2 from this then. So it'll be 2 times 2k squared plus 2k plus 1. Let's check that. Let's check that. Let's check that to make sure we didn't mess up because it is easy to mess up. 2 times 2k squared is 4k squared. 2 times 2k is 4k. And then you still have your 1. So this is an integer. So we need to say that because this is our k, right? Right, this, this whole thing, it's a, k is a dummy variable. We could have used, you can say, you can change the definition, you can use w. It doesn't matter, right? You can say n equals 2 times w plus 1 for some w and z. It doesn't matter, it, it's, it's a dummy variable. So you just have to indicate that this is an integer where 2k squared plus 2k is also an integer. Why? Because the integers are closed under multiplication and addition, right? So uh, you, you take any two integers, you multiply them, you get an integer. Square an integer, you get an integer. Two times an integer is an integer. An integer plus an integer is an integer. So closure guarantees that this bad boy uh, lives inside this set. So this means, or so, n squared is odd. That's, this, that's precisely what it means for n squared um, to be to be odd, right, to be odd. Hopefully you can see, okay, here the lighting is a little bit, there we go, odd. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, that's how you do it. Hopefully uh, this has made some sense and you've learned um, a direct proof example and you've learned from this piece of uh, mathematics. So we started with, if this is true, we assume this, we wrote down what it meant for n to be odd. That's what this is here. And then we said, okay, we're trying to show n squared is odd. So we looked at n squared, we did some mathematics. We ended up here, and then we just said that this is an integer, right? Because it's two times that, or that's where this thing here is an integer. So that's what it means for n squared is odd. I don't know if you can see that there, the lighting is, um, so n squared, oh, the lighting is bad here, but yeah. Hopefully this has been helpful and you could do similar things uh, with other proofs, but that's the idea of, of, of a direct proof. And that's it. Oh, when you finish your proof, you should use a symbol. I like to use a box with an X. Some people use QED. Um, you can use whatever you want. I hope you've enjoyed this piece of mathematics. Take care.